Welcome back to Zero Tolerance for another episode of Learn to Burn with Practical Machinist. Today we are going to be talking about wire EDM and really good uses and hopefully a way to save a block in our fast hole EDM. We have a block um, in our Fonu 5 axis machine that we're doing finish cuts on, but we also have a block that we made for us a curved slide for a 30 round magazine. And this is what it looks like when we soft machine it and it just came back from heat treat and this is actually going to be in a mold like this and once we wire off our holding pattern we'll be able to see this tool come together better but in the meantime if we take a look at what we got here we had to machine some water circuits which is a loop that goes in and out of this block so we have an in and out and then we have to weld a plug into this to machine it complete. And what happened is you have to drill a, a hole, I think it's nine inches long, a uh, quarter inch hole, nine inches long through this block. And sometimes, and we have in the past, we've done 3D printing of these type of tools, but this one we were able to drill uh, to make this work. But we had a mistake and the drill broke and it wore out. And now we've got a, a long drill, about eight inches stuck in one of our blocks. And we're gonna see if we can't fast hole and fast hole into that drill and try to get that to come out in some way. Maybe two separate locations. I'm gonna walk over there and we're gonna, we're gonna see if we can save this, this slide. There's a lot of work in this slide. It'd be a shame to actually scrap it and start over. So follow me over here. for a little while. This is our block, this is our setup. The hole is not perfectly perpendicular to the top of this block, it's actually two and a half degrees off. We had to indicate with some special, um, they're not special, but angle plate, angle blocks that we set on top of this, just so we could try to get the angle correct so that we can drill our fast hole and try to get this drill out of here. Um, and sometimes you're not gonna be able to. We've come across a lot of situations where Unfortunately, we end up having to scrap a, scrap a block and remake it. The good part is we have the programs and we can rerun those programs fairly, fairly easy. It's just a lot of time on the machine. But our, our goal is to try to get that out. So we're gonna try our best to try to do that. We're gonna let it try to get, get down in Z. Another, looks like it needs to go another three inches. I wanna cover this drill that we broke off in this block. Um, we've drilled many blocks like this, very long. But here's the length of the drill that we pulled out that's, that's, that's actually broken, that's broken off inside our block. Now you notice the flutes aren't not very long. We were only taking a 10 thousandths peck. We were trying to do, be very conservative. We've gotten away with it um, a lot on a lot of these blocks, but this one, is not so lucky. So the one that's in that fast hole machine still is uh, gonna be a challenge. I, I'm, I have my doubts of us getting it out of there, but I have to try, there's a lot of work in this. So I just wanted to show you the, what happened and what's left of our drill. And the fast hole is really the only way I can see us getting out of there, getting it out of there. This has been burning for quite a while and I don't know how much more time we're going to spend on it, but the conclusion I've come up with is that solid body of that drill is not going to split in two like I thought it would. If we could burn the spiral out of the drill, we could get it out in two pieces potentially. That's not going to be the case here. So what my thought is, is I can burn, basically I have a, a hole like this and I can burn three spots a certain depth and stick a screwdriver in there and try to break it free and maybe I can get it out that way if it's not really jammed in there at the bottom. I'm hoping it just, it got hot and it seized up and expanded into the hole and that's what broke it. Um, that's just a, a guess. So we're going to go to the middle and then I'm, I'm going to stop it in a minute and then we're going to try to take it out with a screwdriver. We have just wired the center of this so hopefully I can get my screwdriver into the center or into this drill as best I can and see if I can break it free. I hear cracking but I don't, I don't see that moving much. My goal is to try to get it to break free and it can, it'll come out. It'll unscrew, or not unscrew, but 
spiral out of there. This is one of those times where there's a lot of cussing going on because you've spent a lot of time on a job and you are so frustrated. That block would be great if it flew across the room. Um, but I, I got a lot of time and money in this and I'm not doing that. So I might just keep it on my shelf or we're gonna wire it in half just to see how bad it is. So this thing has been in the fast hole for hours. And that's some of the drill bit coming out. As we can see, that is definitely a drill. I'm gonna hit it. So my conclusion here is that we're gonna remake this block. Even if I get it all out, and it does, it does seem to be all right, there is still welding that I'll have to do because I got to tap these holes on the end. And if something goes back in there that long and it ends up getting caught on a piece that didn't come out, then I'm back to square one and I've wasted a lot of time. So I'm gonna cut my losses on this block, rerun the programs that we know work and uh, put a new drill in there and we will have better luck in the next one. Thanks for joining us for our episode of Learn to Burn. Uh, please remember to subscribe and like. We hope that our content has been helpful. Um, if you do have questions, remember to, to put them in the comments, and we will see you next month. Joining us for our episode. Dang, come on. Is our sound working? Uh, are you doing the sound check?